gisugdan kini og construct ni adto pang January 2015. Unya ang atong grand yun nga inauguration was conducted last November 14, 2017. Kani siya nindot ni siya pud nga facility because this is for women and children. Atong center maka accommodate og 40 to 50 clients at one time. Ang ages ng atong i-accommodate ani 18 years old and 59 years old. An advantage for Cebu province because other provinces do not have this kind of center. And we are happy to have this and we are thankful to the governor and the vice governor. I remember I called this uh, uh, facility a monument of love. Muna nga, uh, I was really struck sa homily ni Monsignor A. Ganiha when he said nga kining uh, atong ibuhat is an appreciation, is a manifestation of our recognition uh, as a uh, dignity sa human person, especially sa mga kababayanan o sa mga kabataan. We dedicate this, and I think si Vice Gov will agree na uh, we're dedicating this to the victims, to the countless victims of uh, abuse and exploitation din sa atong uh, nalawigan. Kami po ni Jubel, we feel also very strongly about this center. And now, uh, with this center, I really uh, hope na ato gining ma 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 mapahimus lang gini sa ato mga women and children who are victims of uh, violence and uh, abuse. Another project coming up, I do not know if it has been approved, is the holding center in every district, not every town. It will be made of a container van converted into a, a big room with comfort room. Nga no, di nagyod mo ma ang atong mga social worker, di nagyod mareklamo nga at to sa ilang mga balay. Yes, the most disadvantaged sector, the women and the children. This has been a dream come true. It's because I believe that they should have an equal place in society. Makita na to kung unsa ka bililhon ang mga kababayanan o labaw na ang mga kabataan. On that note, I'd like to thank Governor Junjun Davide.